Hey, welcome to this insane important update. In the last apartment update video, I showed you some things that we had done. Now, as you can see here, we have done some crazy things and we are actually going to be updating some things here. Some changes have to be done and we found a secret. So let me show you what's happened. So as you can see right here, we have had to take down the entire wall because basically what it was, it was this stuff that is up right there. And let me show you that as well. I will show you guys just now in a second what it looks like. It is an insane secret passage basically. So this actually used to be a door right here and I will show you what I mean. You see this right over here? That's a door. It is freezing cold here and obviously because of the cold and because of the whole entire renovation, I'm not sleeping here. I'm sleeping upstairs by my grandmother. Got two bedrooms there, which is really nice. I gotta say, it's a very nice bedroom. It's super duper cold in here, but look how interesting this is. Let me show you what I mean. Look, so we basically had to take out everything yesterday, my grandmother and I had to clean up the entire place and it's really old. I do not actually know how old this is. My assumption would be 50 to 100 years old. I mean, if you just look at it like this, I mean, look at the brick wall here. There used to be an entire wall. So look at that, right? So they added this. So I'm also gonna show you this. This is something we had discovered last night. We were like, hmm, the toilet in the other bed, in the other bathroom, isn't it better to just have it here? So we found out this. This phone, a special insulated phone for houses and stuff. I don't mind the shoes. I uh, shouldn't be wearing these type of shoes whilst renovating, but you know, I don't really care. I wanted comfortable shoes. So my toilet's actually gonna go right here. Believe it or not, we're actually going to change a few things. So the toilet is going to go from the other room, which was actually supposed to be my bathroom. It's going to go here. It looks nicer and it also is easier for the drainage. My shower is going to go here. We found out yesterday like, hmm, we need to see if there is some form of sewage in here. And there is. And that is very, very good because it makes more sense. I wanted to show you all this as well. So my dad took this out while I was in Amsterdam. And just look at it. It's very, very, very old. I mean, you can see the wires and everything and just the amount of fucking cobwebs and stuff. So yeah, this is uh, very, very old now. I can't take this down because of the fact that we've got this massive lamp here, which I'm still not sure if I'm going to fully replace it, but just look at it. So basically my concern is with this, is this. I told my mom like, hey, I don't know how strong this structure is, but yet and yet again, it looks pretty safe, but for the future, I don't know how long this will hold. So we might have to do something with that. But look, if you're wondering why there's a bucket there, because there was actually a massive leak here. My apartment floor kept on leaking on the bottom every night and it started dripping till eventually boy, the water actually started to come in here. So that's why it's there. But I'm gonna just look at it. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like from the back. Because pretty much that's the garage what you're seeing right now. But look at it, man. I mean, you can see it's so old. And if you're wondering why this wooden structure has been put in, it's got its reason because it's to support the top, all right? So that it doesn't fall. But it's also a structural piece which is very important because we cannot remove this element at all because it also sort of holds the wall together and everything up there i mean look at the phone i do not know why they placed the phone there the previous people or the pre people that bought it first because this house is like 120 125 years old so stuff like that is expected we got light which is very lucky they did think of everything like that like electricity plumbing but look at it so we're going to be just be repainting this entire wall this obviously we have to repaint all as well window has been known which is nice only downside is i cannot actually fully open the window at the moment so my dad and i have to think of the, something like that so that's going to be done but look how spacious it is so i want to actually take you with so i'm going to be removing this just now you will see that in a, a speed run video i mean look <laughs> i couldn't get in these towels because this mess of foam was on it look at the old bedroom towels i actually really like this element i know some people don't maybe like how it looks it gives it a nice correct look, character look, if that makes sense. But you can see the wooden beam. So that's really, really cool. So this is the garage. Obviously, I've had to store all my stuff in it because, you know, where else can it go? Look, this is what the styrofoam or whatever it is called. And you got the back. Now, here's the thing. This was actually originally going to be a walk-in closet. But I think I've changed my mind because I don't think it's smart because I have to put the new boiler right over there which means that I have enough space to actually put a closet right here. It saves space and it actually kind of makes sense as well. Why not just put like a little cabinet right over there? 
I don't need something that's crazy big because the truth is what am I gonna put there I'm not gonna put my desk there because this this is going I'm gonna get new ones so my electric desk will highly likely be against that window for recordings studying everything the bed obviously when everything's done I'm actually gonna consider probably putting it in the corner there so I've got more space in the middle so I could do my workouts better you get the whole point new curtains new everything right so anyways as you walk out here because change the plans obviously got a massive ladder which let me show you actually what it looks on the top it's very interesting how they built this because I mentioned it a while ago makes no fucking sense how they built this place they built an extra structure like it's an, it's an actual legit le brick wall but then they put this cheap wood on which I, I just don't understand yet. Yeah, I got all the rat poison, but let's go down before I obviously fall. So, very interesting story I thought I'd tell you. So yeah, like I mentioned, the toilet is here. That toilet is going to go, well, a new one is going to go right here next door. I showed you this last time. I don't know if I showed you guys this. My dad's basically now insulated, or I always misunderstand the word insulated or isolated. I don't know the difference, but you get what I mean. Look. He's done this because in a few weeks time my fridge will have to go against the wall and the kitchen is going to come right here he's taking blue stuff i don't know what it's called but look at that i think he's done a good job with that one this place needs a lot of work obviously i mean we knew what we were going to get when we got the place we knew what we were signed up to you know what surprisingly enough and i'm going to be very honest here it's not as bad as i thought it was going to be because what's so nice about it, everything's already structurally done. The only thing we have to do is obviously, you know, some structural stuff, get up there. Because I've been basically saying like since we've been here, it's fucking cold. This garage is, I'm not even joking bro, I try to avoid this garage at all costs at night. Like that's why I sometimes have snacks, vegetables, fruit in my bedroom because Walking in the garage during the night is not good at all. It is so goddamn cold. But sometimes you gotta do what you could do with the toilet. And that's also why like most of my time spent is in my bedroom. Editing videos, thinking of video ideas, searching up what is trending on YouTube, looking at emails. So my most time I spend is in my bedroom. So it also makes the most sense to put a shower right here and a toilet because it also looks the nicest. So we're gonna see what we're gonna do with that, but you get what I mean, the garage is a really nice spacious place, I obviously do not put my car in here right now, I'm probably not going to put my car in here anymore because it's just a fucking pain in the ass getting the car out of the goddamn garage every time and this and that, so we're not really going to do that but I'm excited, um, really really excited, it's finally, finally starting to see some process, some difference, also another thing I wanted to know is that is wood, can't touch that because you remove that, the whole ceiling would just collapse down so that's also something I did want to say the place is very odd I mean you could tell that it's old another thing that we've been thinking of or I've been discussing is what about central heating in this place like a regular house apartment mansion a castle I would assume I don't know if a castle's got heated flooring my mom said what about heated flooring I said nah I think it's personally a waste of money and a waste of energy because if we can just uh, insulate the flooring good enough and the walls, then it should be good because the brick wall holds a lot of coldness out. However, the issue was with this for the for, for since we basically moved in is airflow coming through here because it was basically open and the same here as well. It was pretty much just all kind of like open if that makes sense, including the door. You'd be surprised, but the door's not double glass. It's actually single glass, which you can definitely feel majority of the time like oh it's very cool and um, we're gonna obviously replace the doors we're gonna replace all the windows but i thought i'd give you this massive update the next video i do not know what's going to be done i do know that my father is going to be painting this room in like the next two three upcoming four days so that's going to be a massive update so i'm going to obviously have to help him but in the meantime what i've got to do now is i've got to clean up hoover mop and basically just make sure that i check out that everything is technically good he's obviously had to check as well so I will let you know in the next renovation part on what it looks like. It's going to be a massive jump, so see you next time.